Whoa. Hi, Jesus. Love you so much. Okay, Jesus. I want to ask you for... Just in case in the future, friends or family may run across this or someone that's been greatly affected by the death of George Floyd in some way because it was so public and it was such a heinous murder. Um, can you show us what George Floyd is doing in heaven right now? That would be so beautiful and so awesome, Jesus. Please show us. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. What is George Floyd doing in heaven right now, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Let's see what Jesus shows us. Okay. What is George Floyd doing in heaven? Oh, duh. One day I'll get better at this. Okay. Mr. Floyd. Jesus, that's adorable. See that? That looks like Mr. Floyd's face. Jesus, thank you. Now what is he doing? Wow. I love the way Jesus does stuff when I ask him questions. Look at this. What? Yeah, look at that. See that? Wow. And he's got light coming out from his eye. That's beautiful, Jesus. That's some kind of a little animal right there. I don't know Mr. Floyd, so even if Jesus shows me another face besides his, I'm not going to know who it is. So I'm just going to cover everything on here. Here's another face, but that's not Mr. Floyd. I don't know who that is. Okay. Um... Look, that looks like his face right there, too. That is so cool, Jesus. Thank you so much for answering me. Okay, let's see where Jesus takes it. What is going on? See how awesome Jesus' art is? Like, this right here looks like God's face now. This stuff can change really fast. Like, I've had Jesus make one time of me spitting on the tissue to have the Holy Spirit come through and answer me, I've had him sit and change the pictures over and over again for in excess of 30 minutes. I'm not lying. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that looks like Mr. Floyd. 
What's this? Yep, see that? But I don't know him, so... And I asked Jesus, what is he doing in heaven right now? So... Now, there's a face I don't recognize. And the person appears to have something in their mouth. Hmm. Maybe they're all sitting down together, eating together in heaven today. There's another face. I'm just calling out what I see because I don't know him. But I know he made it to heaven. I'm thankful to God for that. Um... I believe that if I had been in his situation and someone were holding me like that, I'd be kind of grateful if it were my time to go because we know it's so hard to deal with, but we know that the Bible says we don't go till God calls us home. Some of the ways we go can be awful, but... That looks like God's face right there. That's the face God always shows me. And similar to it. So. But. If I had been in that situation. I'll put it like this. I'm going to just say this. I would be grateful. That I had a chance to talk to God and repent. Before I left this world. Um, what the guy did by killing Mr. Floyd was evil, but thank God that evil, even in a situation like that, never wins because this is twice God has shown me Mr. Floyd in heaven. I know this man made it to heaven. I've been talking to God all my life. I mean, since I was a little girl and I'm telling you, Mr. Floyd's in heaven. But I would be grateful if I were in that situation and that happened to me and the person that did it was gave me time to repent and make my peace with God before I went out of this world. Um, okay, that's all I'm going to say about it. I have prayed for Mr. Floyd. There's another face. Um, he's definitely in heaven. Now, here's a woman. Aww. See there? This is some of his people. I don't recognize them. Because I don't know him. But that's a woman. With a little... Looks like a... Looks like a little puppy dog beside her right there. Um... Now here's a different face, and it does kind of um, resemble Mr. Floyd, and he's eating too. So, Mr. Floyd is in heaven having some kind of meal right now. Thank you, God, for showing me this. This is so beautiful. Thank you, God, for answering me. I hope this gives someone peace. And this could keep going on for 30 minutes. But anyway. Um, thank you God for your grace and your mercy. And your great love for your children. Please bring anyone who loved Mr. Mr. Floyd's. His family. His friends. Associates. People that cared about him. People like me who didn't know him. That it deeply affected to watch what happened to him. Um, look at that. There's God's face again. Look at that. That is so beautiful. I trust in you, God. And I hope 
you know, anyone that watches this video will um, take note and believe and know that this is you. I mean, but George Floyd is having some kind of a meal in heaven today. We've got a God. I love you, God. I praise you, God. I thank you, God. Thank you, God, for loving me. Look at there. There's another face. A different one. And they're eating, too. Okay, it's official. Mr. Floyd's in heaven having a great, great meal with God. So... God, I'm trusting you to get perfect justice on this. You always, always work hard. But I know you're going to work especially hard because this was done in public in front of the whole world. We ask for your justice, God. You only, you alone can get perfect justice. You know everything. We only know what we can learn from media and from people's statements. But you know everything, God. I love you, God. I praise you, God. I thank you, God. Thank you for answering me, God. Look at that. God's face. I love you, God. Okay. Mr. Floyd is in heaven having a wonderful meal. With all of his ancestors and probably some of his old friends and people he grew up with. We all need to try to be good and read our Bible and pray for each other and lift each other up. We don't want stuff like this happening. This is not godly. Killing someone is not godly. Hurting people is not godly. Being mean is not godly. It's not that hard to be nice. It's not that hard to show respect. I love you, God. Thank you for answering me. Praise you, God. You are holy. I love you, God. Thank you, 